and ruined everything that I own. We are facing hundreds of thousands of dollars in legal bills to defend ourselves against these nonsense and senseless crimes. And we ask for the support of this community and the support of this state government to put a stop to this so other people don't have to experience the pain and humiliation that I have suffered over the last two weeks. We are good people with good intentions and we do not deserve to be vilified and prosecuted senselessly for our belief in medical cannabis. We've all worked very hard to make this a reality and I'll be damned if we're going to let the federal government come in and tell the state of California that we are wrong for our pursuit of medical cannabis freedoms. It is all an inalienable human rights to treat ourselves in any way we see fit in conjunction with our doctors. Who does law enforcement think they are to interfere with my physician and my right to use cannabis for pains right. and suffering. Yeah. Yeah. Not one of the men who invaded my house had a medical degree. Not one of the men who were prosecuting me in federal court have a medical degree. The gentleman who I consulted with about my use of medical cannabis does have a medical degree. And he is right. And we are right. And everyone can hold their head high. We are not criminals. Yeah! I'd like to thank everyone for coming out here in this great show of support. And I hope the governor hears this loud and clear. We demand that this state stand up for our rights as patients, as humans, and as people of the state of California. And if they don't, we will elect someone who will. No longer will this stand. Not today, not tomorrow, not next year, not the year after. We will stand up for our rights, and we demand that the government join us in this fight. Thank you very much. So we have some very specific asks of the governor, and I, I don't think these are, are, are huge, or we know that this is something that the, the big man can do, unless he's a girly man. <laughs> but what we're asking of the governor to do is we're asking him to have a, a public statement saying that he supports the will of the voters here in California and supports our state law. And we'll call on the president and Congress to do what's right and to end this conflict. We are also asking the governor to reach out to other governors of medical cannabis states to join him in that fight. Yeah. That time. Yeah. We're also asking the governor to issue a statement to state officials here in California so that they will have no doubt in their minds which laws they should be upholding. And we know that any official here in the state of California should be following California law, not federal law. And if they do not want to follow California's laws, I'm sure that the DEA is hiring right now and uh, they should get off our payroll. And then the last thing that we're asking of the governor is to call on a meeting with the DEA that this issue is not black and white. The DEA does have a choice of the laws that they enforce. And I think that everyone in California would agree that there are many other problems the DEA could be dealing with here in California instead of attacking patients and their providers. Yeah. Yeah. So we have one more statement we're going to read. Actually, Chris Norby, uh, who is a Republican uh, from Orange County, he's a board of supervisor there and has been leading the fight for regulating um, actually issuing the ID cards in California, uh, as well as working now on regulating dispensaries in the OC. So actually Don's going to come back up and uh, read the statement off of his phone. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thanks to the marvels of modern technology, I have Chris Norby's words on my telephone. 
Chris Norby, uh, Supervisor for the County of, uh, of Orange, and he writes, Dear Governor Schwarzenegger, we urge your full respect and implementation of Proposition 215. The voters have spoken. Overwhelmingly, the counties of California have implemented medical marijuana ID cards, as has I County of Orange. It is only a matter of time before the federal government will also respect the will of the voters and the rights of all patients to have access to relief from chronic pain, discomfort, and nausea. Let California be the leader. Sincerely, Chris Norby, Orange County Board of Supervisors. So today is the first day of launching this campaign to get support from uh, our Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger. And so if you have not made a phone call to his office in Sacramento or here in Los Angeles, do that today. If you have not sent an email, do that today. While the voters have made a decision here in California, it is our responsibility to make sure that our elected officials know that we're here and know that we look at this issue when we vote. We look at this issue as elections are coming up and we demand support. So I was thinking for our, our last little uh, chant here, remember, 14th floor, we have to scream. Let's do it, patients, not criminals. Ready? Our patients, not criminals. We're patients, not criminals. We're patients, not criminals. We're patients, not criminals. We're patients. attention please. The battle for safe access in California is a human one with human victims and I'm very happy to announce we're going to try this technologically. I have on the phone right now Stephanie Landa who is serving 31 months in federal prison, 31 months for her medicine and she's joining us today by telephone. I'm going to try to get her on the mic. Okay Stephanie go ahead. Sorry, you know what? I can't get you on the mic. Uh, tell me what you want to say, and I'm going to repeat it, okay? How do you do? Hang on, little technology problem here. Somebody in the crowd was reminding me that amongst many of the victims in California right now are the children whose custody is being taken in some cases. So, I mean, this thing is multifaceted. Let me try Stephanie one more time. Go ahead, Stephanie. Hang on just a second, we're going to translate that. Yes. Stephanie, say that again, please. Just one sentence at a time. Okay, hold on a second. She says, hello, this is Stephanie. I'm in prison and I'm in here spreading the word about medical marijuana. <laughs> Thank you so much. Here we ask. Well, we wish you were here. She says she misses you a lot. We love you, Stephanie. 